Link Belt Oval is something to see here. It's uh, gravel. It's uh, very, very hard. And can I say, it doesn't stop the local people going in tackling. It is 100 mile an hour from the get-go. It, yeah, it's brutal. There's not a speck of grass on it. It's, it's, it's purely gravel. One fella over there went to tackle and skid along the ground. He got up and he had blood on his knee and we're all going, oh, should we, what's... And they just said, no, nah, that's what happens. Play on. They've played AFL football for almost 100 years in Nauru. It's their national game and it, the passion of AFL football, you can see it all over the island. This week in Nauru, we're running a sports training program where we're building sports capacity in the Pacific Islands, and especially here in Nauru. Uh, we're concentrating on the officials, which is the umpire, sports trainer, coaching and first aid. It's an opportunity to come over to a, to a country that, that live and breathe uh, AFL, uh, that don't quite have the luxuries that we do back at home, um, facilities or, or even grounds themselves. After, after the scratch, just go to, to the sea and have a dip and yeah, wash it off, then come to the next game or next training. No, it's been from the 50s. Since our forefathers were sent to school in Geelong, in Victoria, and when they came back, man, the people just fell in love with those rules. And that's all I know. I mean, I grew up talking about football. It's all about football. Yeah, whenever we can watch a game, oh man, we, we would do anything for that. Yeah, it's a very humbling experience this is, and it's, I'm really looking forward to getting back home and, and relaying all the information that we've learned and, and uh, dishing out some humble pie to the, to the team back home.